In this presentation, we are going to understand loan origination and servicing software features. This process, application intake from borrower can be done from mobile app, web, or can be done from manual entry. Click new registration to register the user. Enter the name and uh, end user or borrower can enter mobile number. CAPTCHA is entered and tick the agreement and click register new. Then OTP will be received. End user will provide the details, enter the loan information. And then finally submit the form. So be created from profile create profile this profile is same as the profile which is shown to the customer now here enter all the details and uh, click save the profile 90 will be generated and saved here data is captured in genom software the loan details and document requirements also document management like uploading the documents, indexing story, and streaming the loan information and document. The information like uh, personal information, then whether the profile is primary or uh, current or, or co-applicant or any profile can be created from here. Then relation, introduction, the location, which is like current location or permanent location, the unique IDs, different IDs as per the geography, the income information, income and expenses information, the office address, nominee details, and group uh, from accounting point of view, and the photo can be taken uh, for the profile or the end user. When the profile is created here, the documents can be uploaded, which are the relevant documents here. Now, the document management can also happen from the master setup and document list now here we have option to uh, add required documents from the list of master documents and once the document is added then we have option whether we want to make it uh, manual verification or using api or we want to make it mandatory yes or no attachment required or no and uh, we can also tag the source like uh, at what stage the document mandatory whether it is like in customer login or while creation of the loan or approval of the loan so this information is available here now when the documents are added by the customer we can also see in detail report the document detail now here we can get to know the document uploaded in loan or customer and verification pending or no and for a specific type so if verification pending i click refresh then i'll get the list of all the documents where verification is pending credit check and underwriting and in banking and compliance when we go to credit bureau we can get to know in which credit agency we want to submit the data we can basically click here and click refresh for a specific date range so that we can just download the report and submit when i search a profile then in the profile i will get to know the list of all the documents we get option here uh, which will reflect the credit score of the customer I can basically click on the report here which is generated I click here then system will provide me all the details relevant details of the end user the personal information the loan in uh, the variations in the addresses variations in the mobile number and the account summary uh, of the previous loans and rest of the details the credit facility status here there are multiple options of the credit facility status and we also have the asset classification in fact the npa is automated concept also where in the status report under summary we can also 
see the number of uh, different status including NPA and NPA is automated uh, using the backend jobs which will identify the loan as per the criteria mentioned for example in master setup setting we have option of when to mark the loan as NPA so by default is zero but we can uh, define as per the uh, compliances and uh, rules we'll understand uh, approval process offer generation and disbursement of loan now so when customer will apply the loan a new status or new request will be shown here and uh, in staff login we can see the loan when i click here then it will go in approval process let's say if i find that document is missing i can mention that uh, document bank statement missing and i change the status that additional info required i click status change and when i see here it will get additional information required for the user and user will basically view documents and in fact go here view documents upload document and here just enter bank statement browse the file yeah, select the file and upload once this document is uploaded customer will come here and then doc is doc is upload uploaded now for the staff this status will come here additional information received client will come to know then approval log here doc is uploaded that's a message from customer because document list will get a document still bank statement is uploaded verify this bank statement and finally come back here and then approve this loan and uh, in the loan approval staff can take all the print information and also do add the role list if required for example add a co-applicant f-37 here and uh, also set the auto debit click here and select the payment service provider enter the details and uh, it will be done a link will be shared to the borrower for approval once it's approved then bank to bank transfer will be enabled in the system a multiple payment option um, is available actually and then can be made a payment 3000 by cash and remaining 6000 to be paid by bank to be paid actually 9000 disburse loan manually and here loan 508 is created and now in in case of customer 508 loan will be shown here it's well communicated using mail and sms like uh, what is the loan of what when loan is in approval process it can also be edited and the loan amount can be mod modified as per the credit score of the customer for example different methods of uh, collecting the uh, repayments for that loan and then understanding how the accounting structure is done like billing and different statements now we can receive a first installment here and there, is, there are multiple modes of uh, payments and i receive this amount directly from uh, bank there is an auto debit setup once the auto debit is set up it will uh, basically trigger the installment as on, on this date for this amount and automatically by end of the day the bank transfer will happen so for example if i receive here then once the bank transfer is happened the system will update here about the for the amount and the transaction will reflect here when we click the transaction a print can be taken of the repayment uh, or email can be sent the summary will reflect the account settlement for example we can see that the cash was paid 3000 bank 6000 that is the credit and finally we received the amount which is in the day on the debit side the amount break up 200 interest and remaining as a part of the customer credit amount 
Now we want to see like how much cash we have collected for a specific uh, interval. We can go in business summary and account statement. Here we can just select the cash and get to know the report date range and then we'll come to know the details of that. In fact, we can see any ledger from here. Let's say membership charges, modify the address change and other details. We can search a customer here or dash 90 and uh, then click edit, modify the required details here. Collections, there is a field collection option here. So the collection agent will have a mobile app and we will do the collection. So for example, loan collection list here, newly created loans will also be shown here and the other loans will be shown. They can take a decision whether the, uh, the customer is available or no. So if not available, they can just skip it. And if it is available, they can receive this amount as well. Specific date range and click loan. Payoff and account closure can be done from the loan and in installment tracker when I click a specific installment I can change the rate of interest preview and then basically apply so whatever changes I have done that will be applied to the loan and it will be applied from the installment which I selected then let's say I have received a specific amount here. Let's say customer wants to settle this loan. I can click on settlement. It will give me all the information. This total due will be received from here. So once it's received, the, the loan will be marked as closed. That's why it's showing green. We also have option to weigh up the specific amount. For example, if I'm searching uh, any other loan, where I want to close this loan by waiving off this much amount. So I have option, I just enter the amount here and in settlement and closure, I select let's say uh, rebate or we write off and I just click this. So this loan will be closed saying that this loan is written off. There are standard reports, customized reporting uh, where we can also have ad hoc report and dashboards and uh, report access is uh, well designed using the access control list. Three categorization of report. Collection reports where the amount received, they are categorized in a different perspective. Status report, if any loan information we want to see, for example, the loan categorization, we can see here that personal loan, there are 116. And uh, we can see the loan by calculation type frequency, we can also see the main details and due list. For example, what is the due as of today? So I get to know the analysis chart actually. And then in main details, I get to know the, the total amount which is due as of today. So I get to know the total, the value of total amount. Then outstanding list is also there. It is very useful to understand for the all the loans, whether it is due or no. And third part is basically that uh, detailed report. Now, any collateral information, whether it is gold, vehicle, property, or any other information can be viewed from here. And we have option to create ad hoc report where from the semantic layer, we can select a specific re a report type. And uh, we get to know the list of uh, columns available here, which are almost all the columns which are uh, there in the database. Test to and click save i can give permission of that report to uh, user and when i click test to it will me it will give me the details of the loans as per the filter criteria and all the access of all these reports can be managed from the user management where i can create multiple users and then give them the access here business summary is important part of reporting dashboard provides a quick summary of cash in hand bank balance, number of loans, profit and loss, today's collections and other information. Balance sheet, profit and loss, trial balance, day book, bank statement, cash statement and other financial statement reports. We also have KPIs 
and the projections of interest. Drag and drop option. We can view the report as a bar chart. And we can also drag if we want to have information on a specific ledger. Data export and data import facility. When I search alone, now for any tab, I want to extract the data or download the data. There is a export to Excel option is there. Whereas when I search any report and for that report, if I want to download it, then that functionality is provided here, export to Excel. For importing transactions or importing data, we have option in accounting and transaction import facilities there. Now, the end of the day bank statements data can be uploaded from here. Integration in um, Genom software, the third party APIs available in learning and support section. The third party API list is available where we can integrate almost uh, every possible API which can be used for uh, automation. For example, in case of banking system, we can use automated payment clearance or uh, making the payment to the borrower or checking the bank account. In Genom software, the APIs are also available which third party can be consumed. For example, the third party account software can also utilize these APIs or integrate these APIs to pull data or push data. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. Have a great day.